We interrupt this program for breaking news from .NET Maui land. Tune in as the story develops. So before we dive into anything here, let's just talk about what is happening with .NET Maui because there was a blog post that we're going to go over in a little bit here that announces that .NET Maui has been delayed. Um, so how much it's going to move to Q2 of 2022, it was supposed to be finished in November of 2021. Um, but you know, it's not quite where we want it to be yet. Um, so instead of giving you something that is not um, something that delights you, we are pushing it back a little bit to Q2 of 2022, which gives us a little bit more time to fine tune all the things, um, wait for Visual Studio to be out of preview, um, wait for Project Reunion to be out of preview, all kinds of dependencies that we have that we are building upon to make something awesome out of .NET MAUI. Um, so, you know, it's, it's all for the best. I can totally imagine that you are a little bit disappointed I am as well, um, but you know, it's it's going to be for the better. So I hope that you agree with me that by pushing this back a little bit, um, it will be better for everyone and you will have a more enjoyable experience when um, trying out .NET MAUI when it actually is available. So it will be available in November. It is available now, but it will be available in November as still a preview. Um, Hopefully all the bits, you know, are much more stable than they were uh, for the past few months. Um, I mean, every release is basically more stable than the previous one and more things are implemented. So there's more and more to play with and more and more um, details are coming out and you can see how you can um, 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 convert your app, your Xamarin.Forms app into a .NET MAUI app or how you should shape up your new .NET MAUI app. But the actual, you know, GA quality, um, Whenever we are saying you can go to production with this app, that is going to happen in um, the second quarter of 2022. Now, a lot of people also have asked, like, what is that going to do with Xamarin Forms? Because, you know, it was going to be supported until November 2022, a year after the GA of .NET MAUI. Um, so that date, of course, will move as well. Um, the day that .NET MAUI will reach GA is when the 12 months will go into effect. So um, 12 months after the .NET MAUI GA, um, Xamarin Forms will still get updates. So that's still a lot of updates and we're planning to do service releases from now on each month. Um, a lot is going on there. Also with the project boards, with people who are finding some issues important. So um, make sure if there's something that you want to see included there. I can't promise that everything will be included there because there's a lot of open things right now. Um, but you know, I would like to work together with you, with the community to make Xamarin Forms 5 the best version ever so that we leave it behind cleanly, um, something that everyone can work with, something that um, everyone can still create their apps with if that's what you want. Um, so that's kind of where it's at with .NET MAUI, Xamarin Forms, and now let's just dive into what is new in Visual Studio Preview 4 and .NET MAUI Preview 8, I think. Bada bing, and here we are in the blog post by Scott Hunter this time, not David Ortnow as usual. Um, and here is a very kind of extensive um, um, explanation of where we're coming from, what we're trying to do with .NET 6 and .NET 5 and where we're coming from. Um, RC1, so .NET 6 and ASP.NET and all kinds of other things that are going to be in .NET 6 are um, at release candidate one right now. And then, you know, it goes over to .NET MAUI um, with basically the story that I just told you. So go live, um, it, it will be released, the next release of .NET MAUI packages when .NET 6 RC2 releases will indicate preview in the version so it will be um, still a preview for some time until we can um, guarantee that it will be ready for production um, so please keep it coming all the feedback um, of course we have been um, asking for feedback we got a lot of feedback from you which is really really awesome um, and we look forward to a high quality release early next year um, but let's take a look at some of the features that you can already use now which are added today. So let's go over to the .NET MAUI Preview 8 highlights. Um, 
there is some stuff here. Um, I'm going to go over to some of this in, in a little bit. So here we have the Visual Studio 2022 preview for productivity. Um, and if you go into the installer, you can see it right here. Let me see. Can I zoom this? There we go. We can now see this is renamed to mobile development with .NET. I think that was maybe already the case. Um, now the Xamarin logo will disappear over time, but um, not yet because we need it for a little while longer. Um, but here on the right, you can see that it now has um, these check marks for Xamarin and also .NET MAUI. So this is kind of like the replacement for .NET workload install that you had to do manually or MAUI check or all that kind of thing. So here you can see that things are really coming together that um, Visual Studio is now catching up with, um, well, catching up, you know, it's all these teams trying to do things independently, uh, but now the .NET MAUI bits are incorporated here as well. So it will become easier and easier to install this and um, try this out. So that is what's happening in the installer. And once installed, you can go over to Visual Studio. You can say file new um, .NET MAUI application. It has a new fancy icon as well, um, and you will get a new project. We will see that in a little bit. Now, what even surprised me, and I'm not even kidding here, is that there is a XAML live previewer. I think we had a previewer before and then it was discontinued and now we have it again, um, which is I think a little bit different than the previewer before because this only seems to work whenever the application is actually running. So it's kind of like a mirror of your emulator, uh, which is showing within Visual Studio, but it's already, I don't know where this is going because I didn't know that it was coming in the first place. Um, but what this already does is give you the ability to um, zoom in and out, um, um, to add some ruler so you can really, you know, um, get that fine grained pixel by pixel control over all the things. Um, that is really cool. And who knows, this is in there now. Um, so maybe in the future, more possibilities will be added. I don't know. Um, so that is really cool. Now, XAML Hot Reload works really well with Android iOS. Um, iOS, a quick note, on Windows via Hot Restart or a remote build host. Um, so basically all the iOS bits, but only on Windows at this time because um, Visual Studio for Mac is another thing that is going through a big rewrite of things. I don't think the schedule is out that um, is out yet for that. So that's coming as well. Um, so also there we have enough space now suddenly to wait for Visual Studio for Mac to also support .NET MAUI and that will make things better as well. Um, but for the time being, you can do anything on Windows because iOS via hot restart Hot Restart allows you to plug in your physical iOS device and deploy it through Windows, no Mac needed, um, just to your phone and you can test it like that. If that's something that you'd like to see in a future video, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make something on that as well. Um, and .NET Hot Restart is working together with XAML Hot Reload on Android, iOS and Windows too. So now the, the, the code changes that you make while the application is running and the XAML changes that you are making um, will all automatically update your Apple, your running application so you don't have to stop and redeploy. Um, you could just do that in your running application, all the state is being preserved and you can just continue developing your application while it is actually running. That really blows my mind. Um, so a little note, um, when you create a new project, you'll see the Windows platform is um, now also a, a inside of our single project. Um, so no more separate WinUI project. It's now inside of our single project. Um, but to enable it, you first need to install the Windows app SDK extension for Visual Studio 2022. Um, and then you have to uncomment a line in the target framework in your CS proj files. Now, of course, in future releases, this will change. But for now, we have to do this because again, the tooling is not really, you know, at the same level. So we have to um, do these things manually in order for us to work. Um, now the Windows app SDK, you can find that here. I will place the link down in the video description for you to find. Um, you just download that, install it. It's not very hard. It's just next, next, finish. Um, even I could do it. So, you know, if I can do it, then you can definitely do it. Um, so you need to install this one. And whenever you do, you go over to your file new .NET MAUI application. You open the CS proj of that single project. Um, and whenever you do, you will see here, this has this target frameworks condition, MS build is iOS, not iOS, <laughs> I'm so used to talking about iOS, is OS platform Windows and blah, blah. You just need to uncomment this line. So let me just do that right now. Um, 
And now everything should work with your Windows target as well. So let me just close down this one, um, see what else is in the blog post, and then just go over to Visual Studio and see it all works. So we also have a couple of .NET MAUI SDK updates. Um, and mostly what the team has been doing here is bringing it more in line with ASP.NET Core and Blazor today. So where it was the program.cs before, now we have the MAUI program. Um, and that has this create MAUI we app um, which has the app builder um, so the the generic host is now very much included that was already a little bit um, the the thing with earlier previews but now you know it really is shaping up into its final form um, so this should look familiar use Maui app configure fonts you can wire up your custom handlers your custom renders if that's what you want um, but now in each platform in each um, target specific platform the platform specifics um, which is still in the same project but uh, well it, it get kind of confusing but it will become more and more clear over time hopefully um, so in your android main application.cs you can now see that we do this override uh, maui app create maui app and this reaches out to maui app create maui app here so that you have this instance of the maui app object um, that you can reach into and do some um, stuff in a single point so that's really cool um, now for since we're talking about android anyway um, android 12 api 31 is now the default for dotnet 6 applications building for android um, i'm guessing this is talking about the target sdk um, not about the minimum sdk because the minimum is going to be i don't know less i don't know what it is from the top of my head um, but this will be the, the default target SDK um, for now. And there's a couple of notes about that here as well. Um, other changes. So this one is kind of a bigger one. Uh, we had the min height request and the max height request and some other things, um, the width as well. We have dropped the request here because that didn't really make much sense. So we're dropping the request and it should now be min height, max height, min width, max width, um, which is a breaking change. So if you're going over from Xamarin Forms to .NET MAUI, then be sure to um, update these names if you're using that in your XAML or in your code, because that is now going to break your code. Um, a simplified method for appending behavior to any control mapper. Um, Improvements to shell. So I had a couple of questions if shell is going to be part of dot and Maui. Absolutely. It's in there right now. Um, refresh view absolute layout. So that is something that I created a kind of little bit confusion with my previous video myself um, by saying that absolute layout might disappear. Um, definitely not absolute layout and relative layout and all the layouts are going to be right here in .NET MAUI. So here they are. They were just, you know, you had to use the renderer version um, for now because it wasn't ported to .NET MAUI yet, but now the absolute layout is, um, it's absolutely there. Um, so, and other things right to left, of course, very important as well. And button dot icon image source. So, um, you know, updates all across the board and there's going to be more and more and more updates um, as well so here is the create new project down and now app has a shiny new icon so that is really cool um, and of course as always feedback welcome i already mentioned it uh, just go over to the repository github.com slash dot net slash maui um, see the product roadmap and you can still see the status wiki i always love to pull this up because you know it shows the status of all the controls and the properties that are updated you can see there's more and more green in here and um, the things that are not green are actually in progress so this is very much nearing completion but there is still some work to do um, but you know it is the way it is and it's going to be for the better now let's hop over into visual studio real quick and let's see um, what some of these new changes are in action so i'm going to open up a visual studio 2022 here um, preview four so all the latest new bits are right here um, let's first go to our solution explorer and confirm that here in the platforms indeed there is now a windows folder with all the um, windows bits in here as well so um, you know we now truly have a single project um, in here that we can use to run all of our targets 
How amazing is that? I, it's truly, it's blowing my mind still. Um, and, and here we have that Maui program. So um, this is kind of like the file name changed. I think some naming might have changed here as well. Um, and this is now public static. So uh, if we go to actually see here in Android, and like I said, in the main application, you will see that this protected override Maui app, create Maui app, um, it will go to create this Maui app and you can um, reach it also here from your platform specific code. So um, that is, well, nice to have for some scenarios. Um, same, of course, for iOS, I expect it to be in the app delegate right here. Um, so that is right here in the templates, you don't need to do that yourself, you can just do that from here. Um, probably for, you know, things of like, registering things in the dependency injection container, something like that. I don't know, I need to think a little bit more about what this all um, entails, but it's in here for you to use, there's probably a good reason I have to check the PR that added this, um, what was the exact reason for it. Um, and here you can see that we now have the Android emulator, um, iOS simulator, um, some of this was already in here. And we now have the Windows machine, I'm going to start with the Android emulator now. Um, so let's just click this build. And I think um, the emulator was already running here. So this should just come up here in the emulator. But as it is coming up in the emulator, we will also see the XAML live previewer coming up as well. We can see the .NET MAUI app coming up in the emulator. Uh, takes a little while and here it is. So this is the template that we have seen before, a couple of labels, welcome to .NET MAUI, click me. So whenever we do this little counter goes up as well. But if I slide this to the side, you can see that we now also have this XAML live preview, which exactly mirrors what is going on here, because we can also see the current count is updating in this thing as well. So it kind of mirrors what you're doing. Uh, but now you can add rulers to this, you can add multiple ones. So you can, you know, have a good um, pixel perfect thing, you can move them, you can delete them. Um, you can you can give them colors, I think, um, you can zoom in and out here, and everything that you will change. So let's go back to our example right here. And let's make this where is this hello world, let's make this um, um, dot net Maui app. Um, awesomeness, I don't know, something like that, save it. And you can see that it updates automatically, there is a thing going wrong where it doesn't center anymore suddenly. Maybe that's better in the emulator. No, it, it exactly mirrors all the bugs also between these two things. Um, something that is still to be um, fixed, I'm sure. But you can see that this updates automatically between the two. So XAML how to reload back in action um, between this XAML live preview and the emulator as well. Um, so let's actually see if we can also change a little bit of code and if the .NET hot reload works. So let's go into um, our main page XAML CS right here. And instead of doing plus plus, let's make it count um, plus is and let's make this um, 10 so that it goes by 10 at a time. I saved it. I don't know if I need to click this little hot reload button here. I just saved it. So let's see what this does. Um, nope, it still does this. So let's click this hot reload button. And I think it then applies my code changes. And whenever I do this now, it should go with 10 at a time. See, now it goes with 10, 30, 40, 50. Oh my gosh, this is this is kind of amazing, right? So I can just change code while my app is running, don't need to stop or restart. This is just on here and um, um, making these changes for me. So this is a big improvement for your development experience, because this makes it so much easier to make these changes. And that is kind of what's new in .NET MAUI Preview 8. Now I'll leave it to you to try out the Windows project and maybe the iOS one, getting it running with the, uh, I don't know if the remote simulator actually already works again, um, but at least, you know, through hot restart, plugging in your iOS device into Windows directly and seeing that work is pretty magical as well. Again, if you don't know how to do that or you want to um, me to show it to you, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to make a video on that as well. Of course, I'm a little bit sad about, you know, the pushback on the date of .NET MAUI GA, but on the other hand, we get a lot of more time to um, get the excitement of incremental changes each month um, with new .NET MAUI versions, the tooling coming together, everything shaping up for, you know, the best product that we can put in your hands and um, give you a wonderful experience right from day one, because that's all that we're doing it for. Um, thank you so much for watching.
again, one of my update videos on .NET MAUI. Um, be sure to like this video if you've actually liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more updates coming your way and you'll be notified of them automatically. You don't have to do anything. They'll just be delivered to you through a notification if you also ding that bell. And for the rest, I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding.